Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we look at another accessibility feature we are going to look at the magnifier in Windows 11. So first of all if you have a hard time finding the magnifier because you already have some problems with um, you know viewing the screen the good news there's a keyboard shortcut that is actually easy to find and easy to use you can actually use the Windows key on your keyboard and the plus key. That enables immediately the magnifier. And if you want to get out of it, Windows key and the escape key brings you out of the magnifier. So that's one first thing. If you don't want to go into the settings, don't know where the settings are or can't have a hard time going there because uh, without the magnifier, you don't really see what, uh, what the screen is actually trying to tell you. The keyboard shortcuts are probably very, very useful. So Windows key plus and Windows key escape to turn it on or turn it off for the magnifier. Now, if you go into your settings, right click the start button, go into settings and accessibility, you will have, of course, the magnifier section where of course it tells you that there is a shortcut to do it and you have of course the zoom level of the magnifier that you can also use now the magnifier can be used to view full screen what happens is that when you actually turn it on you will actually be seeing part of that screen right now i'm zoomed at 300 percent and by moving the mouse pointer you actually can go through the different sections of the full screen. Now, when the magnifier is there, you do have a magnifier toolbar that is on the screen. So here you can, of course, change the zoom levels. And, of course, you have the play, pause buttons for media. Uh, you, of course, can read, have the read uh, functionality that you can click on the functionality to read something on the screen. And of course, more settings where you could see what the voice is. Microsoft David is the official voice. Uh, you can change that and so on. So depending on what you want to do, you can, of course, turn it on or off for having Press something. Press the Windows logo key plus the plus sign or the minus sign. to. And of course, you click wherever you want that uh, text to be read on the screen when you click for... Uh, the uh, option to turn it on Read or off. Here. So that's the options that are available. Now, uh, in the magnifying uh, settings, of course, you can also change one option that says full screen, but you can also have docked, which actually will give you a screen the standard screen but where your mouse pointer goes on the screen you will see it at the top and of course you can set the level of how much of that magnifying is going on it's a little bit like using a magnifier that you can purchase to read books that go down up and down the page and magnify only a specific place on that page so if you don't want to have the full screen magnified that is one option that you can actually use the other option is called lens lens is only part of the region where your mouse pointer is going is actually going to be magnified so once again it's like using a magnifier a, a rectangle man magnifying glass and going on a page is, is pretty much the same effect so these are all available and of course you can uh, change the zoom level depending on what you want to have as a zoom level and how big of text you want to have on your screen. Uh, over years, I've seen a lot of people that actually did require to have the uh, magnifier and um, in, in some cases, really um, a, a huge uh, text on the screen in order to see. So you could see how, you know, it's important to have this feature in Windows. So that's the magnifier in Windows 11. And of course, that can help you um, check out and um, read the screen and see what's on the screen 
if you have some disabilities or viewing impairment. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos on this channel.